There are spiritual activities we are pursuing. But our camp is very strong. And we know what we are talking about. We are saying and we are telling the vice president that spiritually he is the president. Now. Ene eye kwa siya da enye du kwa siya da siya nsu diya o benfu radio na cha seye bo e diye ura eye prophet dr. Isaac Ousi benpa aso lfiye. Anye ni mse abatu wa afimu niye wei akatu na aburu niye kwa kwa tuwa ba. Na washen kwa mu e diya ma ndc ya manyukono eye ye ura o mampenida da John Dramani Mahama se on nebedi mkweni mu ewa aba ya betu na afimu. Enu ti ama kwa siya da biya o ya aso li biya la no o kan abatu wa nuhun sem kakra. Edi chire, ni nsori ma, eni gana fwo, eni wiasi ma emu nina. Inti ema, eni nso, yiku pie mwo ho, si ye kwa kuti, kakre wabe kan edi ya fa abatu wano hon. Na kakre bi wakare fa hon ni se, wase, ifri ne ye eko no, se muhu ni se ni swati ya, oya aswari ba, anasa o dono, anasa o pena se ma, ema ni hao, isa ni se, unko mi se na wase no, okwa ye hon juma, enu inti, okwa ye fast na ankasa, Nwe di mpaye, abo mpaye, avyo mpaye, anu mpaye, aya kwa nchila ye ye nyoma. Nwe ni mjobe ya, ebe ma, endi isa manyukono, a yura John Dromen Mahama, eni du ume nimu, eso mba be pre, ye gana kunyano, wamano etu mi edu mkwe nimu. Enu echi nwa chile se, ye ketu mi fi ya, aha enu tu mi fi ye. Powerhouse no, eni heya. Na bebre na fri se, enkwa msa wa shano, eme mu. Nwa wakacho mu plene nye plinfa se, ebi si da, nebi su en si da. Yanko, nyanko tiye Prophet Dr. Isaac Ousu Bempa. Aha, ensu ya obyanfo radio. E free sa tam weyi eko si December. Now from now till December. Se oba ha. When you come here to church. Na ho se meswati ya emanen ha wo. And you see that I've grown a bit mean. Do not be worried. There are spiritual activities we are pursuing. Because we want the whole world to know that this place is the powerhouse of the Lord. You see, when you go to bed, have rest. Get good food and nourish yourself. Somebody may ask, what if the prophecy doesn't come into pass? It has never no. happened and it will never happen. I will be ministering to quite a number of people today. Um, <laughs> several people today. What's up? Papa. Pretty lady. What you say? How are you? Across her way. Which church you fellowship at? She says she's a member of this church. Are you the one that you're on? And she, she said yes. Mm -hmm. I said, what's answer some of me? I said, why are you young? It's very good you came here today, madam. It was the Lord that spoke to me concerning you to call you and speak with you. Now, what you are witnessing now is what we describe as 
the prophetic ministry. A deep one, or more true no mono. Namina Momoso, at the winter somebody. Now, biblical prophets, we have no, we have come to know in the Bible, God used them to reveal secrets and mysteries. Or so for years, you buy, you now during the days of Jesus he also revealed mysteries and certain secrets he spoke concerning a certain woman and the woman threw away her pot her picture because she was astonished but And the woman proclaimed about Jesus that you are not an ordinary person, you are the son of God. So the woman returned to Samaria, her city. And he said, All men and women of Samaria, come. I have met a man. And he has told me all that pertains about my life. And I'm not sure that he is an ordinary person. I believe that he is the son of God. The Bible said all the people followed the woman to the place where she found Jesus. Now, yes. And Jesus preached unto them and performed many miracles and wondrous things. Okay. He spoke to some of them concerning their destiny. He healed the infirmed and he declared the intents of God in their lives to them. And they witnessed wonders and miracles they have never seen I in their life. And now they confess but where the woman woman we do not believe this man because of what you have said unto us, but we have believed him because of what we have heard in our ears and what we have seen with our eyes. And indeed, we agree with you that this man is the son of God. The prophetic ministry reveals the nature of God and he has the power to destroy the works of Satan it reveals it exposes the evil plots of Satan concerning nations families and individuals Again, the prophetic ministry demonstrates the grace of God. It demonstrates the love of God toward mankind. Madam, the reason I have called you, I want you to listen clearly, carefully. It's a good thing you came here today. Meetings be Now certain meetings were convened in the realms of the spirit. Um, because of your mother. Concerning a certain opportunity like chieftaincy opportunity and a certain stool. Now, these matters are matters within the spiritual realm, and so I will not doubt it if this lady does not know what I'm talking about. Her adventure, she may have some pieces of information and knowledge concerning what I'm saying. It was the spirit of a certain stool that demanded for 
your mother's life. The spirit had wanted to establish a relationship with your mother and also to use your mother for its purposes. So that your mother will be the occupant of that stool. So, um, um, these are ordinances or these are decisions that have been made in the spiritual realm in your family. Now, the spirits of the stool are claiming that they are disappointed in your mother. Your mother has let them down. And because of that, they want to take a certain step against your mother, which will be a consequence for what she has done according to the spirits. Now, now in their deliberations they made demands sorry they resolved that there ought to be a sacrifice to be offered to appease them for the wrath incurred and so i saw a meeting which was in session and the discussions at the meeting was were very intense. And the meeting was convened at Brekum. However, there were members of the family that sent representatives from Sunyane from um um Techiman and I don't so reps were sent from there to the meeting to represent the families in those places Sunyane Techiman and Domahinku. In fact the spirit had intended to slay your mother. But but somebody intervened and made a plea for and on behalf of your mother. Now, by virtue of the plea, the spirit rescinded his decision concerning your mother and decided rather that he, he would, sorry, he would demand one of the lives of your mother's children. Now, the spirit said that it wanted the blood of a person who was a virgin? Wetcha mum, wetcha. But sir, Oba, any a virgin? Now, be my so be can say. Ono so virgin, any a wetcha. Bon sema, also for lawyer, nani? Hallelujah. Enunti. Omo final meeting. Aba besi so se. Wo ananka awo se omo do ya mpata. Nenso. Hon hon. She aya wan qualify no. Yemfa oma bako. And so they decided that you were the person, madam. You were the person that they had earmarked to be offered as a sacrifice to the spirit. However, you did not meet the criteria of the spirit therefore they have decided they are going to take one of your children and offer that child as a sacrifice to appease the spirit so i saw a certain spirit whose semblance was like a bird but the face of this spirit was like an old lady. This bed-like spirit came 
to your dwelling. Na mi hun se wafa akra ahunhun ni pedua miensa omubutu butu nechi. Na mi hun se odu ma dura sase ne so. Ena ye de omegu bibi ete se kenten omudin kasanwini se omu fe mu ba ko. Ena mi hun wo wo snake. Now I saw that when the spirit came to your dwelling place, it took three bodies, three souls, and three spirits, and put them behind behind it, and flew to the place. And I saw that he laid these three persons in something like a like like, like a basket. Now that basket was made of thorns. But it was in that basket they put these three persons. Then I saw a serpent. Anna, the old chair could not catch the answer. Our year, I could not even see my say. We want a minute back on. I fear you, Bessie Mono. Obesa, Meneniaka. Now, Sana, Nakuma, Tony. Now I saw the spirit sitting on a throne, and this spirit is the spirit of the stool. And this spirit issued a command to the serpent and said to the serpent that swallow one of them now. And in the coming year, I will take the lives of the remaining. Now, So on a certain day, which was a, which was Friday, I saw that the serpent swallowed one of the one of the persons. Now the Lord asked me whether I had seen what was going on. And the Lord said to me, and the Lord said to me that in the next year, the serpents will swallow the remaining persons. And the Lord said to me, and the Lord said to me, and the Lord said to me, to now the Lord said to me that what he has revealed to me are matters concerning the life of this lady seated here and the Lord also mentioned that he does not want all these things he has revealed to me to happen in the life of this lady that is why he has revealed it so that by the prophetic ministration the Lord will descend in his grace and mercy and shall redeem this lady from the attacks of the evil one coming upon her. Now, and it's no sign by Nechi. Now I saw that the revelation reversed. Now me hun say unquadano, I wa unsera bem. And then when it reversed, I saw that the children were in your house. Now Rade Kachira me say, ni oma me hun yana feina, oma ya hun se shaya wia, susu no tese pete vocha. The name is old lady. I bring up you know. I feel na omo betu sa na mo no na omo me hu no no pesu si ano ko. Now the Lord said to me, my God, the Lord said to me that what He revealed to me is something that is about to happen, but they have already discussed it and they are going to implement it sooner or later. And He gave me a glimpse of things which would have happened, but He, the Lord, has intervened. And he is going to put a stop to it immediately. Madam, this is the reason I called you. Also, cross right away. Which church do you say you fellowship with? She said she's been fellowshipping with us right here. Who do you come here with? She said she comes with her husband. Did your husband come today? She said yes. Husband, if you are in church, kindly walk forward. Put your hands together for the Lord.